everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today I have a Sons of Liberty Gumworks AR-15 on the table. Let's get this review started. So uh, let's start with what it comes with, uh, or it doesn't. It does not come with the Primer Arm Cyclops here. This is their 1X. Um, it, it's it's a great little optic I'm reviewing right now. Um, so spoiler alert, I do really like it, especially for the price point. Um, link is in the description if you want to buy one of these. Future review coming out soon. Um, but yeah, what else does it come with? It comes with three metal mags, which I was kind of surprised by. And usually you only get one, two at the max, but they actually included three, um, and they do have the Sons of Liberty Gumworks and logo stamped in the bottom here. So thank you for the three, three 30 round magazines. It does come with the Constitution of the United States, which is nice. I know you guys know somebody who needs to read one of these, pass it along. Um, okay, so what else does it come with? Mine actually came with a carry case, which I wasn't expecting. You know, it's a 30, 40 dollar carry case, so um, that was a nice surprise. So. Uh, I'm not saying yours will come with it, but mine did, so happy with that. Okay, so let's start at the back here. Uh, the furniture on here is B5 Systems furniture, um, so which is generally pretty good furniture. I like the, the B5 Systems SOT mod stock uh, better than this one, but it's it's nice that you have upgraded furniture already, um, so that's nice to see. It does have a couple of sling attachments right here and QD sling attachments on either side. It has a nice rubber butt pad on the back here for that awful uh, recall that a 5.56 gives you. Um, obviously, I'm joking. Um, so moving along, we have a mil-spec buffer tube, and then we come down to the castle, castle nut. The castle nut's pretty fancy on this and it has actually been staked really well three times. I don't think I've ever seen a castle nut staked three times on an AR-15 straight from the factory and it does have a QD sling mount right here uh, which is a nice touch also. Move along to the top, uh, we do have a charging handle here. It is not a standard M41, it is, has been extended out here uh, on one side. It's not Ambi um, and it is uh, branded Sons of Liberty. Uh, gum works up here and so yeah so I do the charger handle is pretty good it would be nice if it was fully ambi but still a nice upgrade over the stock one all right so moving to the top here we have a full length 1913 pick rail and we have our T mark indications on top also the upper and lower receiver are 70 75 t6 aluminum as you would expect Everything else is kind of standard here. Um, so obviously all your safety is in the same place, you know, uh, your safety and your uh, bolt catch and release, you know, is all in the same place as you would expect. Has obviously your mag release right here. Uh, moving down, we have again the B5 Systems grip. Um, the grip's not bad, it's not my favorite out there, but it's certainly, again, it's nicer than the standard one that typically comes with ARs. Doesn't have a little storage compartment, which makes me sad, um, but it's, it's decent, I like the grip angle. Um, and it feels pretty good in hand, but it's still not my favorite, but it's not bad. Uh, moving down, we have an enlarged uh, trigger guard right here. I am a huge fan of enlarged trigger guards. Uh, and then we have a, a trigger in here. It's about it's about a six pound pull. It's nothing to write home about. It feels like it's a standard mil spec trigger. Um, so there's that. Take that out. Uh, on the other side here, uh, we do have the Sons of Liberty logo right here. And these are made in San Antonio, Texas, which is also stamped on the receiver. Moving along to the mag wheel. The mag wheel has been flared out a little bit, as you'd expect, for easy insertion of your magazines. Uh, moving along here, this might be a little hard to see on camera. It does have anti-rotation tabs on either side here. Um, just little tabs, and if, you, if you're not sure what they're for, um, you do not want this front rail to move, so or rotate in any kind of way. So, because if you have like um, an optic up here, or laser light, whatever it may be, if this moves, obviously it's going to change your point of impact. And so those anti-rotation tabs on either side is to help prevent that. That's why they are there. It is also stamped with Sons of Liberty uh, SOLGW EX02, which is actually their rail, is the EX02. It's a nice rail. 
It's got some uh, weight reduction cuts right here, and then it's got some M lock just at the uh, M lock slots here. At the three o'clock, more cutouts. At the six o'clock, and the same on the other side. Um, so yeah, it's a nice rail. It seems good quality. It's not too thick. It's it's kind of a perfect, uh, perfect for getting your hand around to make that C clamp. It does come with a QD mount up front here also, which is nice because these are about twenty bucks to buy. So it's nice that it does also come with that. Underneath the rail here, we have a mid-length gas system. It's a one and seven, 16 inch barrel, um, and it is a 4150 CMV, and, uh, and it has the A2 bird, ca uh, bird cage at the front here. So overall, uh, cosmetically, everything is really nice. Let's do the wiggle test. We're gonna start doing this. We're gonna do the wiggle test or the wobble test. And all I'm talking about is um, how does it feel between the upper and lower? Um, a lot of people ask me this, so I've just started to include it. So is there any wiggle between the upper and lower receiver? Absolutely none. It is perfect. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Excellent machines. Yeah, the overall construction is very, very nice. Okay, so one thing I also recommend when you ever get an AR-15 is take a look at the bolt carrier grip. So we'll take your pin out. Let's take this stuff out. So actually, before we go, um, in the back here, um, in your buffer section, this is just a standard hitch buffer with a buffer spring, nothing to write home about. And then we have your bolt carrier grip. Uh, so you're gonna wanna check your, you make sure your gas keys are staked properly, which these are. And I did look at this earlier and it is stamped. And maybe I'll try and remember to put a picture in for this, but it's HP MPI tested. Uh, on your actual bolt here, which is what you want to see. Has the Sons of Liberty logo right here, and the fit and finish is very nice. Uh, no complaints from me. And then you have your standard charging handle, as I said, with the extended uh, grip, uh, extended lever on this side, which I do like. Okay, let me put this back together. Okay, how was shooting? Shooting was great, uh, no problems at all. Um, not in love with the trigger, the mil spec trigger, as I said, but I'm a bit of a, a, bit of a, a trigger snob nowadays, unfortunately. So um, that's one thing I would change out. I didn't love the trigger, but I mean, it still works. It's still fine. But if you're used to nicer triggers, you're, you know, you know what it's like. Um, so, so yeah, shooting was good, no problems. Um, things, you know, things that I liked uh, about this: the overall quality and construction is really nice. The handrails, uh, the handguards, really, really nice. And, you know, nice furniture, upgraded charging handle, and things like that. At 15, oh, excuse me, these are selling for about 1400 bucks right now, um, which you kind of fall in line with BCM recce rifles. Um, and so, you know, if you start talking kind of 1400 bucks and up for me, you know, I, and, and BCM, you know, this is probably very equivalent to BCM uh, recce rifle um, with BCM obviously having more of a history though. Um, you know, these are, these are not new to the game by any means, but you know, BCM has been around a long time. They've been used by, you know, law enforcement and, and military and whatever else. So, um, but these do have a really, Sons of Liberty has a very good reputation and deservedly so. They do have a lifetime warranty also on their products. But w when you start getting up to the kind of $1,400 plus range for me, there's things that I would like to see on a rifle personally. Um, things like, I know it's a good barrel, but you know, I'm like, well, you're getting to that point where I'd really want a cold hammer forage barrel for the price. Um, or even just putting in an ambi safety. I feel like most companies will include an ambi safety nowadays. Um, is it a big deal? No. Um, these guns are built for duty use um, and Sons of Liberty stands behind our products. So I have no doubt this is a very, very rugged and reliable firearm. Um, but there's just little things like that I think would go a long way just to see an ambi safety and then, you know, maybe looking at doing a cold hammer forged barrel. I know it's more expensive, but just things that you start getting to that price point and you kind of expect to see those things. Um, other than that, um, I don't really have any complaints about this gun. I think it's very well constructed. The quality and, and the, uh, the quality is there and the, the quality control is there. The staking's all done perfectly. Um, you know, and sometimes that's what you're paying extra for. You're paying extra for better materials, obviously, but you're paying for that quality control. You're making sure you're getting a, a firearm, firearm that's 100% reliable. Um, so, yeah, uh, I do like it a lot. I think, as I said, it's very comparable to the Recce. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. Um, I had no problems. I mean, again, this is more of an initial review. You know, I've only gone through two, 300 rounds of ammo. Um, and so it's more of a first impression, not a, a long-term review. But um, I, I do like what I see. Um, and I definitely have no qualms about recommending Sons of Liberty Gunworks. This is the first one that I have uh, ever got a hold of. Um, and I've been imp impressed. Everything's impeccable. Everyone where it should be. So... 
yeah, happy days. All right, folks, uh, if you want to buy one of these, link is in the description. And if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, subscribe button, uh, please do so. It does not cost you a thing, but it really does help me out and the channel out. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, that's pretty much it, folks. Until next time, I'll catch you later.